Lego pieces have been made in almost 200 colors since 1958, and some of these colors have only been released in a couple of sets and have grown to become very rare. So today we'll embark on a journey through Lego's history as we take a look at some of these rare Lego colors. When the Lego system was first introduced in 1958, there were only five colors, which was quickly grown over time to accommodate their set's needs for new colors. In 1978, Lego owner Kjeld Kurt Christensen introduced a new business model. With the new model, the company started to further differentiate its various products and for the first time introduced themes to the company as we know them today. These themes created an ever-growing demand for new colors as they came out with the first three themes, Castle, Town, and Space, which is now known today as the Classic Three. Following the 1978 introduction of LEGO themes, LEGO's color palette began to ramp up. More colors were added to the original five between 1978 and 1989 to make a total of 12 different LEGO colors by the end of the 80s. The next big update to the color palette wasn't until the mid-90s when LEGO started introducing themes that were targeted towards girls such as Paradisa and Belleville, which were themes that used quite a few different colors in the previous themes. And trust me, there are a lot of rare colors from Belleville in this video. Then, in 1999, LEGO introduced the first licensed theme that we all know today as LEGO Star Wars. However, since LEGO started doing licensed themes, it grew the need for new colors significantly. So much so that in 2004, the total colors used in sets went up to a record high of more than 110 different colors. In 2007, LEGO realized that it was way too much work to keep up producing all of the new colors while still introducing new pieces. So to simplify things, they cut down the total amount of colors used almost in half down to just about 60 colors. Ever since then, the palette has stayed at around 60 to 70 colors each year while constantly rotating old colors out and new ones in. And bright bluish violet is the first color we'll be taking a look at. It was first introduced in 2001 for the Hogwarts classroom set. The color was used for the door and classroom floor, but the color was later made into more pieces. Some of the notable ones include these minifigure base plates and legs that both came in the sports theme. And one of the oddest pieces to use this color was this lamppost that appeared in two Belleville sets. It's just a very odd piece to be in this color. Unfortunately, LEGO stopped producing this color in 2004 for reasons that are still unknown. However, this next color had an even shorter production span from 2003 to 2005 lasting just 3 years, and that color is bright reddish lilac, which was originally only a 2x4 brick. This color debuted in 2003 and came in 3 different sets that were all just buckets with a bunch of random bricks, which is honestly a very odd way for LEGO to debut a new color. However, in 2004, LEGO made this color more mainstream and used this color for a pretty wide range of pieces. Some of the parts that include it from 2004 are this purple magic hat which came in the Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle set, and LEGO also even used the same color for a cape in the same set. The next color we'll be taking a look at is a shiny one, and that is copper, which is a color that was released in 2005, and was originally only available as this dome piece. The color had this very nice shimmer and metallic look to it, and the piece ended up being used in two sets from that year the clone turbo tank, and the Wookiee catamaran. The very next year in 2006, the color was made into multiple pieces to be used in the Exoforce line of sets, all the way from 2006 to 2008. In 2007, LEGO also decided to use this color for a pirate sword which they ended up using for the castle line of sets. However, LEGO stopped producing pieces in this color after 2008. This next color actually has a very interesting story behind it. Dark Royal Blue was originally only made for LEGO Duplo in 2004 with two pieces, this chest piece along with this 2x4 Duplo brick. However, the very next year, LEGO made three more pieces that used this color, including this 1x4 plate, a 4x4 plate, and this spear which all only appeared in the LEGO Belleville theme across two different sets. And it seems very odd to me how LEGO would make this color only to be used just a couple of times in different Duplo or Belleville sets. This next one is Metalized Gold and is one of the most unique colors on this list. It was first made in 2000 and is a very muted metallic gold color. And when it first came out, it was famously used as C-3PO's legs in the original Droid Escape set back in 2000, but they continued to use this color for C-3PO's legs throughout a total of 4 sets from 2000 to 2004. In 2001, LEGO released this color in a ton of different pieces such as all of the parts from the buildable Technic C-3PO, but they also made this key piece which appeared in a total of 12 sets, 
mainly from Harry Potter, but was also seen in a couple of Belleville sets. Then, in 2003, LEGO used this color for two more pieces. The first one is this sword piece, which is probably the piece that this color is most remembered for. However, this sword only ever came in the Temple of Mount Everest set, which is unfortunate because of how cool this piece is. And the second one is this really cool plate piece, which came in two Belleville sets. And finally, we have the coolest color on this list, called Transparent Brown Opal, which is an absolutely mesmerizing color. It was originally made in 2020 and launched with only one piece, which was this 1x2 glass window insert. In 2021, LEGO started making more pieces with this color, starting with this interesting sword piece that appeared in four different Marvel sets. There was also this 1x4 tile in this color that also appeared in a couple of sets. And the last of the three pieces this color came in during 2021 was this round dish piece, which was released in two Marvel sets. Finally, in 2023, LEGO released three more pieces using this color, the first of which was this half-cylinder piece that launched in the Dreams Nightmare Shark Ship. The second piece is this odd creature that was featured in a Harry Potter set, and finally, the third piece is this quarter tile that came in a LEGO DOT set. And unfortunately, this color has not been made since 2023, which is unfortunate because of how unique this color truly is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to watch this one.